my dear friends, welcome to Series English. My name is Antonia Ramacher and today I'm going to tell you about the difference between bad and badly. These two little words. Well, there are a lot of common mistakes connected with differentiating adjectives and adverbs, so it's very important. Here you need to understand that bad is an adjective and badly is an adverb. So, what is the general difference? Adjectives are used to describe nouns and pronouns and adverbs are used to describe actions or verbs. The easiest way to memorize is taking into consideration the names, adverbs. They describe verbs. And adjectives describe nouns and pronouns. So, now let's get closer. Bad is an adjective, badly is an adverb. So, bad describes nouns and pronouns. For example, you might say that she is a bad cook. So, cook is a noun, she is a bad cook. Bad adjective. <laughs> This is a bad cat. Okay, let's continue. Bad is an adjective and it describes a noun here. Cook. And a person. She. So, and we might say that she cooks badly. She does what? She cooks badly. How? So, adverbs answer the question how about actions. BTW, adverbs very often have the suffix ly, badly, beautifully, um, sadly, and so on. Now, let's get to some peculiarities, because up now, up until now, everything seems to be very logical. However, there are four verbs which are specific. These verbs are sense verbs, four sense verbs. They are look, smell, taste, and feel. So, these verbs can be used in two different ways. And in the one case, we are supposed to use adjectives after them. And in the other one, we are supposed to use adverbs. So, adjectives are used after these four verbs when we deal with the state of mind or when we describe a person. For example, a person might look bad. So, a person might look bad. It means that we take a look at this person and see that something is wrong with him or her. The person might smell bad. It means that when we come closer, we smell something. So, and we say, this person smells bad. But it means that we smell well. So, when a person smells badly, it means that he doesn't use his nose properly. He cannot differentiate odors. And so the, he, he can't sense gas, for example. He can't smell gas or a good perfume or coffee or something of the kind. So, the second aspect is when these four verbs are used actively. Not to describe a person, but actively, when we actually uh, look at something, when we try to smell, use our nose. So, a person might smell well. It means that he can smell tiny differences, very... Uh, light smells, so he uses his or her nose. And taste, a person might taste badly, for example. 
it means that this person cannot feel the differences between different kinds of tastes like sweet and sour and salty so for example a good sommelier is supposed to taste well not good if a person tastes good it means that you have just taken a bite so once again we use adverbs like badly well beautifully and so on after these four verbs when they are used actively when a person actually uses his nose uses his mouth mm, tasty or eyes or fingers another example uh, she doesn't feel well because she has burned her fingers so when she touches she can't feel whether the surface is smooth or it's rough so she feels badly but we might say i feel bad about having said that about having said that she is a bad cook i feel bad about it here i'm not talking about my senses i'm talking about my state of mind my opinion so this is the difference feel well feel badly when you use your fingers and feel good or feel bad when you talk about your feelings your emotions your state of mind so that's basically it do not forget that this basic logic works not only for bad and badly it also works for other adjectives okay now two more examples with bad and badly i will might use them correctly or incorrectly your job is to check me now let's do this the first sentence for you she was badly injured in the accident have i said it correctly have i made a mistake am i a bad girl <laughs> i'm a good girl because i used i've used an adverb connected with the verb injure she was injured this is a passive construction and the adjective the adverb badly she was badly injured is connected with the verb form injured past participle here so but generally with the verb so the second example she is in a badly mood any mistakes here yes there is a mistake we should say she is in a bad mood because mood is a noun and it is supposed to be described by an adjective so she is in a bad mood okay one more she feels badly because she is to be blamed for the accident so it is wrong we should say she feels bad we are not talking about senses here we should say she feels bad because she is to be blamed for the accident or she is to blame for the accident also possible but anyway we should say bad not badly and one last example mm, to tell you the truth you smell badly what is the perfume so correct or not <coughs> wrong because here we talk about we we describe the person so you smell bad the perfume is bad and you smell bad so throw it away right now <laughs> joking you smell good 
BTW, the verb here, which also is a sense verb, is always active. So it is always used with adverbs. So like any other verb, it is okay, it is normal. Not like look, smell, taste and feel. Summing up very quickly, adjectives are used to describe nouns and pronouns and adverbs are used to answer the question how about actions. So they are connected with verbs. However, as to four sense verbs, look, smell, taste and feel, they are peculiar when they are used actively, when you actually touch something, when you use your nose, when you use your senses actively, you are supposed to use adverbs after them. And when you describe a person, he looks bad, he smells bad, he feels bad, he tastes bad, OMG. <laughs> then in this case, you should use adjectives. Okay, so that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video lesson and you understand the difference between bad and badly a little better now and you won't make any mistakes. In our next video, in one of our next videos, we'll talk about the difference between good and well because there are some peculiarities here too. So, but that's it. I hope that you found this class enjoyable and you learned something new. I hope to see you soon and happy English and Russian practice. Bye-bye. What are you doing? She's sitting right beside me. So try not to pay attention to that moving angle. Okay, I'll have to ask Mola to change her location. Come on, she doesn't want to go.